Hey everyone, I'm Swati Tripathi. In this video, we are going to see how to configure router as a DHCP server. To enable DHCP server, we have two ways. Either we can use a generic server or a router. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it with a router. In the next video, I'll show you how to do it with a generic server. The link to that video will be available in my description box. So there are four simple steps to configure router as a DHCP server. The first step is obviously to make the network topology. You can see a lot of devices on your left bottom corner. So go to this network devices. Then from here, go to this routers. Then select any router that you wish that is suitable. I'm selecting this PT router and drag and drop it on the screen. Now from this network devices only, select this switches. I'm going to select PT switch, drag and drop on the screen. Then go to this end devices and Go to this PC. I'm going to select two PCs over here. And after drag and drop on the screen, I'm going to go to this connections button and I'm going to select this copper straight through bar. Now select this PC and choose fast Ethernet 0. Then select switch, choose fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Now again select this copper straight through bar, select this PC1, select fast Ethernet 0. Select this switch and choose fast Ethernet 1 slash 1. Then similarly, select this switch, choose fast Ethernet 2 slash 1. Select this router, choose fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. Now note this that this router is getting connected via this cable on this interface, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. This is important to note down. Now our next step is to configure the router. This is our second step. So double click this router and a default box like this will appear. Now here, go to this CLI, which is the command line. Here it is asking, would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? Here you have to write NO, NO. Press enter and you will enter the user privilege, user mode of this router. Now here write EN or you can write enable, which stands for enable and here you can, will enter privilege mode. Now, after entering the privilege mode, write CONF space T, which stands for configuration terminal. Note that I'm using short forms here. You can write the full forms also. Like instead of con space T, you can write configure terminal, which is the full form. Now, after entering in to this configuration mode, this global configuration mode, here you have to write INT space FA0 slash 0. Do you remember that here this wire was connected to this router on this fast Ethernet 0 interface? That is why here in the CLI of this router, I'm writing int FA 0 slash 0, which means interface F fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. Now press enter. Now assign IP address to this interface by writing IP add 192.168.1.1 and the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 press enter now write no shut down to turn the port up which is by default down now press enter write exit now after exiting the third step starts which is to configure DHCP server on a router here will be we will assign a DHCP pool of IP addresses so write IP DHCP pool and give any name to this pool. I am going to give name as my pool. Instead of my pool, you can give any name you wish. You can write Swati, you can write my LAN. My pool is a user defined name. So you can give any name. Now press enter. Write network 192.168.1.0 space 255.255.255.0. Press enter. Now here I'm going to write default hyphen router to mention that the default router's address will be whatever I sign which is 192.168.1.1. So I'm making sure that this IP address of this interface is same as the default router and then press enter. Now, if this network of mine would have a DNS server, I can also assign the IP address for the server by writing DNS server 
192.168.1 suppose i want the ip address as 1.10 then i can write this command and the dns server will have this ip address but since i don't have a dns server i will not write this command now the main job has been done uh, fourth step is to go to this pc uh, first of all let's go to the pc 0 double click it and a default box like this will appear go to this desktop then go to this ip configuration button here the ip configuration has been assigned static by default now select this dhcp it is requesting ip address and it's successful so you can see the ip address is now automatically assigned as 1.2 and the default gateway or the default router which we had assigned is 192.168.1.1 Similarly, and now first of all, close the default box of PC0, then go to this PC1, double click it, and the default box will appear. Go to this desktop, go to IP configuration. Now, enable this DHCP by clicking the radio button. And here also, the IP address is 1.3, and the default gateway is 1.1. Now, let's say you want to exclude some IP address. For example, you don't want the DHCP to assign IP address starting from 1.3 to 1.7, for example. So how you can do this? Go to this router, double click the router and the default box will appear in the CLI only. Let's say in the CLI, uh, first of all, you have to exit this mode, DHCP config mode. Press exit. Here, when you are in the config mode, you can write IP. DHCP excluded address and the first starting address is 192.168.1.3 space 192.168.1.7 so I don't want my DHCP to use IP address starting from 1.3 to the ending address which is 1.7 so it will not use these ip addresses to automatically assign the host now press enter now in pc0 the ip address assigned by the dhcp was 1.2 so it's allowed ip address but now since for pc1 which was previously 1.3 now i have mentioned that excluded so for example i just switch between static and then again select this dhcp it's again requesting and now it's using 1.8 previously it was 1.3 but now since i have forbidden to use ip address between 1.3 to 1.7 it's not going to choose from that ip address and excluding those address it will choose other addresses from this network 192.168.1.0 so this was it for this video thank you so much for watching if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends. Subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.